Hello artists, so we are starting a new project about collage and to start you are going to sketch out your design or your picture and I'm showing you how to use the pencil to sketch. You're going to lightly use it on the side instead of this way where the pencil is sticking straight up. Kind of hold it at an angle instead of this because it will help you sketch lighter and make those pencil lines way easier to erase. So here I'm starting to sketch. I'm going to make a cheeseburger. You are, of course, um, like I said, allowed to do a food item uh, or a landscape or an animal. I'm choosing a cheeseburger and I'm making my shapes really big, which this will help you in the long run when you start collaging those magazine pieces in because little tiny bits, like tiny details, are going to be really difficult and frustrating with this project. So make your shapes really big. I made my lettuce really big, my tomatoes sort of big, my cheese slice really big, and then my uh, bun and meat uh, patty large, okay? I don't want tiny things. And these sesame seeds that I'm drawing right now, I actually make them larger when I get my Sharpie out. So large items the better for you friends okay think about a table line um, if you have a food item um, and then think about landscape with the foreground middle ground background and if you're doing an animal you're still going to want a color for the background now this part now once you have your item sketched you're going to label the colors that you want Okay, so tan for my bond. I'm doing a W for white because that's my smallest shape in here. Um, and I go on to label the rest of each shape so I know later. Because we will be covering up all of our pencil lines and Sharpie lines with our magazine pieces. Okay, so this is just kind of like little notes for you to help you remember. I'm actually doing complementary colors uh, for my background, for my table, and my wall. I'm going to do blue and orange. Uh, once you have all of your pencil lines on, you will then add Sharpie. And again, we're going to cover our Sharpie with our magazines. This kind of helps you when it's uh, the contrast with the black marker with the white paper for when you do get a little sticky and messy with the magazine pieces. Um, it will help you for a better guideline if you do cover up some pencil lines or if you have many pencil lines like mine when I sketch. Okay. Um, this is about all I really ask for you for this week is finding out what you want to do, sketching it out really nice and large on your paper, labeling all of those uh, shapes for the colors that you want to do with your magazines uh, and then sharpieing your final puzzle lines for this collage. Okay, again I'm gonna say it one more time because it's super uh, important if you want if you want to make this easier on you. Little details are not gonna help you. You're gonna want big shapes like I am doing. Large shapes. Okay. Again, watch me. I'm going to make my sesame seeds a lot bigger um, with my Sharpie just because I don't want to be cutting tiny little bits of white paper from magazines and getting my fingers super sticky, okay? And I'll show you next week how to add magazine pieces, which uh, is time consuming, but oh my goodness, it looks amazing once you're done. All right. If you have any questions, again, ask a friend first before asking me because I'm sure they'll remember. And there you have it. Don't forget your name on the back, please. Name on the back. All right. Thanks, spooky friends.